Come in. Come in. Hang on. Hang on. Who is it? Good God, Tony. Here, come in quickly. What a night. Where have you been all this long time? You are very keep yourself busy, are you? What brings you here to these parts on a night like this? And at this hour? Well, I hope I'm not intruding, Jolt. Not at all. It gets rather quiet here at times. Anyway, it's good to see an old face. I was on my way up north, actually. As I passed by, I thought to myself that I must pop in and see old Charlie, see what he's up to. Old man Packer said I'm bound to find you here. So here I am. Make a sound at home while I pour you a copper. Sit down. Not they shall. I've been sat behind the wheel all day. I'll have a look around first. There's nothing much to see. What are you doing these days? The last time I heard you were going to set up in a new business. Something interesting. That's right. Antique furniture. Gave up the old coffin business. How come? Just got fed up. How about you? I see you're still in the business. The picture isn't too bright. Oh, you must be doing well. What gives you that impression? Oh, old man Packer. He runs a production line now. He tells me he can't turn them out fast enough. You've got a factory too, I suppose. This is it. It's big enough for me. You still make the best coffins around, Charlie. In fact, you've certainly improved on the old ones. Why, this is quite something. <laughs> You're always generous with your compliments. 
Why, these mouldings are almost real. They are real. You mean to say you still hand carve these details? How else? Well, old packer. Plastic mouldings, of course. Why, it cost a fortune to hand carve these today. There must be a lot of rich people around. Can't sell them. Here's your copper. Thank you. I'm afraid you'll have to do with that milk and sugar. Oh. I seem to have run out. Army. I'll put up with it. There's so little space left in this crowded world that folks fear to be dug up again after they're dead and buried. It's all this development. So what do they do in the end? They prefer to be cremated and scattered to the winds. So they settle for one of those inferior jobs. The mass-produced ones. Death was once a permanent and respectable event. Nothing but the best for the dead. Look at us now. Ply veneer chipboard, plastic mouldings. I know exactly what you mean. I often thought to myself when I still had the business that a coffee maker was closer to God than a priest. It's the coffee maker who performs the last service for a man, not the priest. His service is still with the man long after the priest's words of comfort have been blown to the winds. Well, that's the situation these days. Nothing is permanent. Charlie, what are you living on then? Have you something else besides this? No. You can't carry on like this. With your skill, you should be making a fortune. Devotion to one's work is one thing, but survival comes into it too. What do you mean? I mean, you could set up a small production line to offset the expenses which go into making these fine coffins. Charlie, you've got to survive. It's easy for you. You've always been practical. Ah, oh, practical, my foot. It's common sense. I don't really enjoy making imitation antiques. Imitation? Yes, imitation antiques. That's an art too. Sometimes only the experts can tell the difference. The tourists certainly can't. They'd buy anything with a Queen Victoria tag on. A few pellet holes here and there, and they love it. Human nature's a funny thing. The more battered relics fetch the higher prices. Doesn't make sense to me. Seems criminal. But it certainly hasn't done me any harm. In fact, it's been good to me. I've got money, but aside for a rainy day now. I've got some of the good things in life too. Now that can't be bad. You can't do that. Why not? It's cheating. I wouldn't stoop so low. Steady on. We're getting too serious over this. Let's change the subject. Although I agree with you in principle. But I've got to live. And I'm not the only one in the business. I never thought you'd come to this. Charlie, be reasonable. Look. What is it? Take this. It isn't much. It'll see you through the lean patch. That's what friends are for. I can afford it. Keep it. Knowing how you made the stuff, I wouldn't touch it. Hang on. There's no need to get worked up. I only offered to help. Be sensible. Take it. You've always been out to make a fast buck. I remember when... Look where your honest craftsmanship has got you. Why, you wouldn't last another six months like this. Six months? i last long enough to make you a coffin.
You shouldn't be there left all alone. <coughs> I'll find a little box and make you comfortable. Ugh! <coughs> 